What's going on guys? So this is one of the locations we're gonna be using tomorrow for our engagement photo shoot. And unfortunately the light is not right now, but it looked really nice earlier. There was uh, some autumn leaves that looked really nice and uh, the lighting was just right at the moment. So I think this area is really great. Plus we have this nice bench here to do a couple of the shots. So I think all together, it'll turn out for a really good photo shoot and hopefully me and James nail it. So yeah. So I'm teaching James a little bit about whip transitions and pan transitions. <laughs> yeah, back and forth. No. <laughs> so you guys will get to see in a second uh, when I do a few transitions of James's face. It'll look kind of like his face is like swooshing into another face and it'll look really cool. You guys will see in a moment. Okay, so I think the best way to get this shot is if we have the guy maybe sitting a little bit lower than I am now, but he would be looking up like this, smiling, and then her kind of with her arms around him, looking into his eyes, smiling down here. I think that will make uh, a pretty good shot. Got this wonderful view. We got a lot of potential here. We just gotta Photoshop some of these signs out. Seems like it's littered with signs, but a lot of potential. You're letting us use it, so we appreciate it. Do you want the Sure. How cool is this? That is pretty cool. It was good. How was yours? Man, it was awesome. What's going on, man? What's up, man? You doing a little uh, editing here? Yeah, I'm excited to look at these photos, see how they turned out. I think so. Man, it was a lot of fun. It started to get a little chilly, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think we actually nailed some really good shots. So you guys have to stay tuned to see how these photos look. So the first photos that I wanted to go over, one of the photos that I really liked was one where they were kissing, but they were kind of out of focus and more of the bokeh in the background with a ring mainly in focus. I thought that was a really cool shot. Uh, it kind of gave a different perspective 
something different from your typical kissing engagement photos. It kind of changed the direction of where the photo was going. It focused more on the ring, which I really liked. Um, the second one is where they were making the heart with their hands, kind of like this. I thought that was kind of cool with a little bit of bokeh in the background because we had that light and some of that brightness coming through the, the trees. I thought that turned out really good. The one thing I liked about the hands photo was that there was a lot of kind of green bokeh in the background and kind of give it a nice contrast with the hands in the way and because of that I thought it was a great photo. The next one, the next photo that I really liked was the kind of save the date that they wrote on a leaf. I thought that was really cool just because it's kind of the fall time that we took these engagement photos so I thought that was the biggest leaf I could find but it actually turned out really good. I like the green was really really contrasting everything else in the shot I kind of tried to desaturate a little bit of the background to kind of bring out that green a little bit more in the writing. The next shot that I really liked was the two of them laying on the ground. James was kind of directing them for some of it because he had had previous shots of this done before. So it was really cool to kind of get his perspective on how he got his engagement shots, kind of some of his ideas. This was the shot that I had taken. I liked that they were both smiling at each other and uh, they looked really happy, which we actually didn't have a very big blanket. If you look at a couple of the shots, there, was, there wasn't a lot of real estate. So we just tried to make the best we could with what we had. The last shot that I liked was them kissing kind of in the gazebo. I liked how it was really well framed with, uh, with both sides of the gazebo kind of framing that shot and then them in the center with all the fairy lights around kind of giving that nice bulk off with the nice colors still shining through the trees. At this point, you'll see in the video earlier that it was starting to get a little bit dark here so I really had to balance this picture out well by using a little bit of the ISO and then exposing a little bit higher in Lightroom. It took me a long time to get this video out because we had to edit the photos. By the time we had them edited and sent off, we just wanted to make sure that uh, everything was good before we released this video. So I think this turned out really well. Um, and I'm excited to do more engagement shoots. A lot of fun. And James and I are a great team together. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe so you guys can get more content in the future. And thanks for watching. Okay. I was like this. Smile. That. You know what I mean? And what else? Huh? Explain that again. Fuck. Sorry, my light died. Naturally, my light would die when I'm recording, right? Why wouldn't it?